What's going on guys? Your humble host Picasso, thanks for joining me again. Today guys, just a very quick video. We are actually going to be taking a look at uh, this animation button here. Uh, it's going to bring up, as you see there, that animation and the applications there. That's all done with KLD. Okay, in a much uh, 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 more detailed fashion. Alright, let's jump right into it. Let's First not waste. We are going to go ahead and add. Uh, we're going to add an image or a text let's go with adding an image okay so we're gonna go ahead and add an image let's go ahead and select it uh, of course pick the image uh, whoop I didn't actually tap it let's go ahead and pick the image um, you most up oh, sorry the image I want is actually an icon so let's go ahead and pick an icon all right I'm just gonna grab this one Let's grab that. Let's go ahead and drop it right down the center. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to clone the icon. One. Bring this up here. Two. Uh, right there. And then let's go over like that. Let's go ahead and bring it up a little bit more. Okay. Let's copy this guy. Paste. And then there he is, that one. Let's move this down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's move back. Let's copy this one. A copy, paste. And then we are going to move this one down ten spaces as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so we have three icons on the side, and we have the main icon right there. The icon should be different, but this is just for an example to show you guys what I mean. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and save it right now. All right, so the first icon. So what we want to do here, we're on the home screen. Okay, if you guys don't know, we're going to create a global uh, 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 function okay that we're going to attach to a global switch so we're just gonna scale across the top here as you see backgrounds changing where items background layers at the very far right we have globals I'm gonna go ahead and tap globals um, there's already a global on I'm actually gonna turn that off what we're gonna do now is press the plus button up here to create a new global where it says type we're gonna tap on that and it's going to be an on and off switch Okay, title, let's just call it test icons if we have that space there. We don't, limited space for the title, very weird, but okay. Test icon, click, that's it. We have test icon. As you see right now, currently it's off. I'm going to go ahead and leave it off. I'm going to select save. Let's go back, uh, jump back into the settings. Here we are, all right. Now we're going to do with the first icon. Let me zoom in a little bit. Maybe see, see if I can give you guys a little uh, better look at this. So now here we go. We have we have the first icon, and let's go ahead and select it. Make sure it's selected. There's a little red square around it. Not sure if you guys can see that. Let's actually change the first icon so um, it's something that we can recognize. Uh, that once we're there, we know that is the icon. Let's go back to Naxos Taz, and let's just grab. Uh, let's grab that icon okay there we go so now you see that we're on the first one so what we're gonna do we're gonna grow scroll over uh, the top as you see here it always starts on that like the left side and you can scroll the top header over to touch so we're gonna go ahead tap on touch it says single which is none so a single tap and we're gonna go down to toggle global switch we're gonna to select toggle global switch then you have to locate the switch and it was test icon okay so we've gone ahead and attached this button so when you tap on the blue button that we've created it's going to toggle the switch test icons alright let's go ahead and save that let's back out now what we want to do is that when we tap on the blue button these icons appear okay we're gonna make them appear from the bottom what we're gonna do is we're gonna tap on the first icon which is one of the top ones up there okay so we're gonna tap on that and that's going to let us know uh, so now we're on this top one up here okay so we're on that now what we're gonna do is go to animation now we're in animation there's nothing here the little plus sign up here we're gonna go ahead and tap on the plus sign it says animate disabled 
okay what we're going to do is tap on disabled it's going to give us react on it's disabled we're going to tap on disabled and it's going to react on global switch okay now we get a whole new set of uh, uh, things below global switch where we've just selected let's zoom in here a little bit more okay so now it says global so now we're going to select test icon okay there we go now it says action we haven't come out of it yet global switch test icon action okay and right now it's set to scroll so if I go back and if I was to press this little play button up here it will give you a preview of what's going to happen when you press that blue button okay that's not what we want we don't want actually you know what okay just as an example let's leave that for scroll let's leave that like that so you can make it scroll when you press the button okay let's go back all right let's save save okay let's go back once more now the second icon let's go ahead and do the second icon I'm gonna go to animation all right with plus button it's disabled react on we want it to react on the global switch we're going to select the global switch test icon and instead of scrolling as you see there where it says scroll Okay, you tap on that to change it from scroll, and then you have a little list here with a couple of things it can do. All right. Now, one of my favorites that I've actually really love is scale out horizontal. Okay, so scale out horizontal. Basically, when you tap the button, it's going to do that. Okay, so it's not scale out horizontal; it's scale out vertically. So pressing the play button will show you what's going to happen like that. Now, for this, it will scale out vertically to the center. So it's going to be here, and it's going to go like this to the center. What I like to do is have it go like this. So if I can do it with my fingers, but basically there's the top and here's the bottom. Instead of scaling out to the center, it scales out to the bottom like that. So it's kind of rising from the floor. Now to get that, you just scroll down a little bit more. Here it says module center. That's why it goes to the center. You tap on module center and then you want to put it at module bottom. So now when you press it, it's going to, sorry, press it, it's going to scale out to the bottom looking like it's coming from out of the floor. So all you'd have to do is do the same thing, put as many icons wherever you want, and uh, yeah, you get that effect because you've attached the switch to the blue button, and these react when you press the blue button. Let's go ahead and save, and we got one more. Let's go for the last icon we put. Okay, and animation, again, animation the plus sign it's disabled it's disabled react on global switch choose test icon and this one we want to scale out okay so when touching on the button this one's gonna scale out which is basically it gets smaller let's do something a little bit more fancy let's scale in actually okay so pressing on it the icon will grow and expand now the icon will stay that way unless you add another effect okay so I'm gonna go uh, again you as you see press the plus button on the home on the uh, main animation uh, home screen here you can add as many animations as you'd like so we're gonna do the same thing it's gonna react on the gyroscope but this time it's going to fade out okay it's going to fade out so now the fade out is gonna make when it grows it fades out okay so let's go ahead and save uh, I think I did it correctly. Let's go ahead and check. Let's go ahead and check. Let's set the wallpaper. All right. So now here we have the blue button. Let's press and see what happens. Okay, the fade out didn't work. Uh, can I press the... Okay, there you go. So the fade out didn't work. Let's see what else happened. Everything else happened, but the fade out didn't. So let's jump back in there and let's see if we can fix this fade out. Let's jump back in. It was the last one, right? Animation. Oh, it's on the gyroscope. Okay, I picked the wrong thing. Not gyroscope, global switch. And then test icon, and there we go. All right. So let's save. Let's back out, back out. Let's go home. All right. So the top one is going to scroll. The middle one is going to... Uh, 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 close to the floor or basically disappear going heading downwards and the bottom one is going to scale in and fade out let's take a look there we go you see the fade out there we go 
Okay, so be feel free to uh, uh, re rewind and look again. And if you have any questions, leave them down below in the comment section. I'm your humble host, Picasso. Hope this little tip and little quick tutorial helped you get this animation down pat. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace. I'm out.